Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 3 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems 2.1 to 2.9, exercises 2.1 to 2.4, examples 1 to 14 and questions 1 and 2 from exercise 2.5. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 3 from exercise 2.5 chapter 2 triangle says in figure 2.53 ABD is a triangle right angled at A and AC is perpendicular to BD. Show that AB square is equal to BC into BD, AC square is equal to BC into DC and AD square is equal to BD into CD. So they have given us in the figure a right angle triangle that is ABD right angled at A and AC is a perpendicular to BD. So therefore it is a right angle triangle right angled at A. Since this is a perpendicular AC this perpendicular AC again forms a 90 degree angle on both the sides of perpendicular and this perpendicular divides the whole triangle ABD into two triangles ABC and ADC. So here looking at the figure we can come to know that theorem 2.7 can be applied to this figure since we have a perpendicular and a right angle triangle. So by using theorem 2.7 we will prove these three given questions. So let us write down given triangle ABD is a right angle triangle right angled at A equal to 90 degree and AC is perpendicular to BD. Since it is a right angle triangle, now let us apply theorem 2.7. So write down by theorem 2.7 which says if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right angle triangle to the hypotenuse, then the triangles on both the sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle ABD and also it will be similar to each other. So by theorem 2.7, we can write that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABD, that is the whole triangle. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABD. Similarly, this triangle ADC will be similar to the whole triangle ABD. Triangle ADC is similar to triangle ABD and also triangle ABC will be similar to triangle ADC. Okay, so triangle ADC is similar to triangle ABC, right? So let us write down this as equation 1, 2 and 3. So now using these three equations, let us prove the three parts of the question. So the first part says, show that AB square is equal to BC into BD. Let us take the side on the right hand side of this equation that is BC and BD. So from the side BC, which is the triangle formed, it is triangle ABC and from side BD, which is a triangle that can be taken into consideration, it is ABD, right? So we have to take these two triangles and prove that these two triangles are similar and then we have to take the ratio of their corresponding sides. So since we have already proved that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABD in equation 1, that is by theorem 2.7, therefore we will take the ratio of these corresponding sides of these two similar triangles. So write down from equation 1, we can say that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABD. So therefore let us write down their ratio of the corresponding sides. So here if consider triangle ABC and triangle ABD. Now let us write the ratio of their corresponding sides. So in triangle ABC which is the 90 degree angle, angle BCA is 90 degree. So side opposite this angle will be the hypotenuse. So we will take the first hypotenuse as AB divided by in triangle ABD which is the hypotenuse that is the side opposite the right angle here right angle is A so the side opposite the right angle A is BD so that is AB by now let us take the base so in triangle ABC let us take the base as AC this is the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse and in triangle ABD let us take the base as AD so that will be AC by AD 
and that is equal to perpendicular now so in triangle abc the perpendicular will be bc and in triangle abd the perpendicular will be ab right so we will write bc by ab since in the question we have to prove ab square is equal to bc into bd so since we want two ab squares so we will take this first ratio and the third ratio because in these two ratios we have ab ab right so let us cross multiply these two ratios so ab into ab you will get ab square equal to bd into bc will be into bd into bc or you can write bc into bd right so this is what we had to prove in the first part of the question now similarly let us prove the second and the third part so in second part we have to prove again ac square equal to bc into dc so now which is the triangle that we have to consider let us consider triangles with side bc and dc so with side bc which is a triangle coming into picture it is abc and with side dc which is the triangle coming in, into picture it is adc so let us consider these two triangle abc and adc so here we have to prove these two triangle abc and adc to be similar so that we can take the ratio of corresponding sides of these two triangle and prove this equation from equation 3 we have already written down that triangle adc is similar to triangle abc so write down from equation 3 we can say that the triangle abc is similar to triangle adc here i have written other way around both the way of writing is same so now let us write down the ratio of their corresponding sides so in triangle abc it is right angle at bca angle therefore the side opposite the right angle will be the hypotenuse so this will be the hypotenuse in triangle abc similarly in triangle adc if you see angle acd is right angle and the side opposite this right angle is ad so this is the hypotenuse so we will write ab by ad equal to now let us take the base so in triangle abc let us take ac as the base and in triangle adc let us take cd as the base so we can write ac by cd and the leftover sides will be the perpendicular so in triangle abc bc will be the perpendicular and in triangle adc ac will be the perpendicular remember the hypotenuse is fixed always whereas the base and the perpendicular can be any side in the right angle triangle perpendicular ratio will be bc by ac so bc by ac since we have to prove here ac square is equal to bc into dc so we will take the ratio which have ac squares so here the second and the third ratio has ac cross multiplying these two ratios we will get ac into ac as ac square equal to bc into cd bc into cd so this is what we had to show in the second part of the question similarly now let us solve the third part that is ad square equal to bd into cd ad square is equal to bd into cd so now let us consider the triangles with the sides bd and cd so with the side bd which is the triangle coming into consideration it is abd triangle and with the side cd we have the triangle ADC. So let us consider the triangles ABD and ADC. So to take the ratio of these two triangles, we have to prove that triangle ABD is similar to triangle ADC. So if you look at equation 2, we have already written down that the triangle ADC is similar to triangle ABD. So write down from equation 2, we can say that triangle ADC is similar to triangle ABD. So therefore we can take the ratio of their corresponding sides since these two triangles are similar by theorem 2.7. In triangle ABD it is right angle at A so side opposite the right angle is BD. BD will be the hypotenuse in this bigger triangle and in triangle ACD it is right angle at ACD so side opposite this angle is AD so AD is the hypotenuse in triangle ADC. Similarly, now let us take the base. So in triangle ABD, let us take the base as AB and in triangle ADC, let us take the base as 
AC. So let this be the base. Left over side will be the perpendicular. So in triangle ABD, the perpendicular will be AD. In triangle ADC, the perpendicular will be CD. Okay, so let us write down which is the hypotenuse. First, it is BD by AD equal to base will be AB by AC and the perpendicular will be AD by CD. What we have to show in the question it is AD square is equal to BD into CD. So we will consider the ratios which have AD square. So first ratio and the third ratio has AD. So now let us cross multiply these two ratios. So AD into AD you will get AD square equal to BD into CD. So we got what we had to show that is AD square is equal to BD into CD. So this is how we prove all the three parts of the question number three. It is So if this question appears in your exam and they ask you only one part of the question, so whichever triangles you are considering, so you have to write by theorem 2.7, write down the whole statement and say that this triangle is similar to respective triangle. Then write down the corresponding sides ratio of the similar triangles and then you can show what asked you in the question. So this question is very easy if you understand and practice. So if you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number 4 from exercise 2.5 chapter 2 triangle. So till then do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC NSERT math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangle shown on the screen. Thank you.